How kind is God? All right, imagine these two scenarios. You have one man who wants to adopt a child, and so he scours the planet for just the right child. He wants the perfect child, and after years of rejecting lesser children, he finds the one, and he finds the perfect kid. Now, what is it that makes him so perfect? Well, he's a prodigy. The guy's, the kid's a genius. Not only is he smart, he's also talented. He can play musical instruments and he sings. The kid's voice is amazing. He knows that he will receive years and years of pleasure from this child. Now, here's another scenario. And you don't have to imagine this one because this is true. I was in Washington, D.C. and I met a man who told the story of how his son was murdered by another teenage boy in a gang. He shot him dead. And then he introduced to us his son. And the young man that stood up as the adopted boy of this man was the murderer of that man's first son. Our mouths fell open. Now let me ask you, who was the greater savior, if you will. Well, I think you'd agree with me. It was the man who took the boy who had nothing to offer him but his crime and his wickedness and paid his fine and adopted him into his family and loved him with all of his heart and raised him as his own son. Now here's the point. You and I are the criminals and the enemy of Almighty God. We have nothing to offer Him but our filthiness and our sin, our bitterness and our cursing. And instead of giving us justice like we deserve, He's paid our fine. Jesus spilled His blood for us and He's adopted us into His family. He lavishes His goodness upon us. He accepts us. He forgives us. He completes us and receives us as His own child. That's what makes God so amazing. We have nothing good to offer him. And the Bible says, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. That's God's love for us. And that's what makes him such a kind savior.